in this video i will introduce you to the basic flow involved in pcb design with this i will also explain what are pcb component libraries and why they are important so let's get started so the first step in pcb design is to draw the pcb schematic in the uh, schematic editor where you pick and place all the components in the circuit and wire them so after this drc verification for the schematic is done to rectify the errors in this in the schematic and after clear, clearing all the errors you convert the schematic into a pcb layout so in pcb editor you do uh, board outline placing the footprints in the board outline i mean in inside the board outline and routing them after finishing all this process drc verification for pcb layout is done to rectify the errors in the board and after clearing the errors the output files are generated and sent to the fabos so this is the basic procedure or flow involved in pcb design in short so just assume a case where we need to design a pcb for this circuit you are seeing in the screen now so first is to open the pcb schematic using the depress launcher so you can go to depress launcher by start menu and click on depress launcher here so now we have to pick and place all the components you are seeing in the image here in the schematic area i mean in the pcb uh, schematic editor here so for example i am going to pick a component and show you how to search in this pcb component library of depress so just pick this component i mean this is a transistor right so q1 is the ref desk of the component i mean reference designator and this double m b t double two double two l t one is the port number of the transistor so you need you need to copy the uh, port number of the component and search it in the pcb li library of the pcb schematic editor of depress so this is the library here so just go to filter here and search it for all libraries and type in the port number of the component we need to place in the schematic area so in our case double m b double m b t double two sorry double two double two l t one is the port number so let's confirm it again so double m b t double two double two l t one is the port number right so after typing in the port number just click on apply filter here so it will the system will search for the compound in the library of depress so depress will have a, a vast library in default where you can uh, browse for the compounds and pick and paste it in the schematic area here so let's wait for the system to search for the compound here Hmm. Yes, the system has found the compound here. So just close the filter and click on this compound in the library. As you can see, this is the symbol and this is the footprint of the particular compound we have searched. So you need to click it and place it in the schematic area by uh, pressing the left click in your mouse button. And to close the command, just use the right click right so next you need to pick and place all these components in the circuit and place it in the schematic area right so this is the basic procedure so i will show another example so now i'm going to uh, you know use this or just wait for the so this is j3 is the connector so for connectors you need to browse for the libraries like Connector symbols here. So this is the connector. So let's connect the connector similar in the schematic. So we can delete among the components. So as you can see in the circuit here we need to flip the compound right 
so this is an npn transistor so, so to fit the component just right click on the component and click on flip here flip horizontal so it will be flipped to look similar in the circuit here so to connect the wire with the components just click this symbol in the bar above and come to the pin and click on the pin here so it will be connected to the a pin and just come and click on the pin again so the connection is made right so similarly you need to pick and place all the components from the library and paste it here in the schematic area so after finish drawing the schematic you can do dr verification and if you found the schematic is fine without any errors you can save the schematic after saving the schematic you can directly convert the schematic into pcb i will show it how click on ok now you can see the symbols we have seen with the footprints have been converted into the respective uh, footprints here right so this is the footprint of the uh, connector we have seen earlier and when it comes to the transistor again you can see the footprint here so this is how it works so you need to complete the schematic and convert it into PCB so mostly deep trace will have all the compound library i mean compound in its uh, default library but in some cases you may need to create uh, compound libraries where you create compound symbols and footprints if you do not find the particular component in in the deep trace library so here you can see mb that is double MB, this uh, transistor present in the library of deep trace so just consider a case where you don't have this compound in uh, deep trace library so in that case you need to search for the uh, a data sheet of this particular component in the internet and do the footprint design and compound design i mean symbol design so for that just go to google and you need to search for the compound here with data sheet i mean this is the port number and you can include data sheet in the search term and click on the just make sure this is the particular uh, port number you are searching for so as you can see this is the symbol and this is the real time picture of the component scroll down to the data sheet you will see the footprint of the component here so you can see this is the footprint account by the company so you can see the exact footprint here I mean if I zoom in right so this is the footprint of the compound here so fortunately this compound is present in the deep trace library but in some cases you may, you may not find the compound you want in the library of deep trace in that cases we can just go for google and search for the particular port number of the compound and uh, refer the data sheet and design the footprints so in the next few videos i will be showing how to create compound libraries in deep trace by creating different components like uh, resistor footprints capacitor footprints transistor footprints and ic footprints so you can also refer a digikey or moser.com for data sheets of different components so hope you got some basic idea on the basic flow of uh, PCB design and what are compound libraries and how to browse them if you have any doubts in this video just go ahead and post your doubts in the learn PCB design Facebook group and I will be happy to clear all your doubts so see in the next video of creating footprint for a 2 volt resistor bye bye